Okay, second test run. Uh, this time I put some trains together. These are the old trains and rolling stock from the old layout. And most of this stuff is proven to run fairly reliable on the old layout, so we're testing the new layout. Uh, the goal is to eventually run seven trains simultaneously, probably a little bit longer than what's on there right now. Uh, I didn't put any of the new Walters passenger cars or the new uh, model power uh, military train stuff on the layout or the, or the articulated locomotive. But I just wanted to see how things run. Uh, I don't have all the new detection and turnout assignments set up in train controller yet, so I'm not willing to try automating it at the moment. Uh, i got other priorities, such as some warpage in the plywood panels that are unsupported. Uh, I need to fix that. And i got a one or two little track issues uh, with a mismatch in track height. The only locomotive that it seems to bother is that uh, little GP9. It's got some low-hanging uh, plates in front of it uh, that was catching, so I just turned the locomotive around and it runs fine that way. Uh, but I'll have to fix that little track issue. But things are seeming to run pretty smooth. I better change the speed there. It looks like the RSD is catching the E8. Anyhow, don't kick the tr camera tripod. That's what that little jump was all about. Four trains, but I seem to be missing one. My little GP9 is stuck somewhere. No, nope, he's not stuck. He caught up to the Hudson. <laughs> I need to fix that. Anyhow, pretty happy with the, the track work so far and the grades and the curves and everything seems to be working out the way I wanted it to. So, onward and upward. <laughs>